right, we are back at Plant World on Charleston. Why, you ask? Because it's March Madness still, and these animals are on fire. Now, the birds, eh, not so much. A little disappointing. Trevor from Land Rover of Las Vegas here. Let's talk about the animals that were hot as anything. Mr. Nelson brought his wisdom and his A-game last week with the picks. Just amazing. Undefeated 17-year-old cat picked all of them right. So we have that, and we also have the tortoises, I believe they're called. The cold animals, much like Paul the octopus, we think that they're also doing good. We didn't feed them yet, so they'll be a little bit peppier than last time. All undefeated. Birds? Holy mackerel. We're sorry. You guys, not so good. Which <laughs> corn will they go for? Yukon versus Kentucky. He hasn't, he hasn't decided yet. Boy, no, that's still... They always say turtles are very wise. This is one wise turtle. And there it is. It's official. Kentucky. Kentucky. Here we go. Determining. Thinking. She's thinking. Oh, I like that. She's looking. Oh, I don't believe it. Wait, that's not my pick. There it is. <laughs> BCU. Here we go. Already corn on its face. <laughs> thinking. Look at that. BCU wow. in the most... Wow. I mean, unprobable. Had to start out in the first round against USC, just devouring it. Okay, there we go. One on each one. Boy, surprising that a cat takes a dog. Wow. <laughs> Mr. Nelson? Okay, there we go. Butler. Butler, now we got UK. Let's move it down there. UK versus Connecticut. Well, you know, they always say cats and dogs. Does Mr. Nelson get along with most animals? Mm -hmm. There you go. All right, Mr. Nelson. We gotta get the final four. We got a lot of money. There we go. Okay, UK versus Connecticut. Oh, taking a little bit more time here. Oh my gosh, in another stunning upset. Connecticut. Totally against the tortoises. Yeah, and, and, and both dogs. 17 year old cat. Mr. Nelson. There we go. There we go. Oh, this is exciting. There you go. Connecticut. Connecticut Huskies. That's kind of interesting in that it's exactly different. Cold-blooded or warm-blooded? Who are you going to follow? You know, I think I'm going to have to go with Mr. Nelson. I'm thinking, I know the tortoises have a lot of wisdom, a lot of years behind them, but Mr. Nelson, I got a good vibe. I agree. I couldn't believe that a cat would go for both dog picks, but it did. How about we hit the casinos and make some money? Yeah.